It's been very windy for the last two weeks and I was getting sick of not being able to fly. So I had to come up with something that could handle the strong winds. My Balsa Pod Ultralight Sloper has been superseded by the Mad Flipping Fusion Sloper. So this was the perfect candidate for a few tweaks. The first mod was to change it to a V-tail design. I'd seen these used on um, slope racing gliders, so I thought I'd give it a go. This is the first test in 20 to 25 knots easterly, which is an odd direction for Geelong really. But the glider flew okay, handled the strong winds quite well. But it was quite unstable in the yaw axis. I'd obviously not designed the tail correctly. This is another lighter wind day, doing some turn-ins back into the slope, but it was still pretty unstable in the yaw axis. Now for some creative landing techniques. The cartwheel, the spin off the tree, and the more conventional spoiler on landing. So I obviously needed a bigger rudder and I also uh, steepened the V angle to 110 degrees. The wind had turned southeasterly, also up to 20 knots, so it was another good test. And straight away the glider was tracking a lot better, a lot more stable in the yaw axis. When it wasn't going berserk and trying to attack me. The wind is a little bit off to the right here, so I could have fast downwind runs going to the left and then sort of slower runs working up to the right again. But it was certainly promising and I could load up with a bit more weight and uh, have some really nice fast downwind runs along the slope. rudder is virtually ineffective and this shows you why. Wiggling the rudder stick and you can see that it just flexes the tail and the flex actually operates in the wrong direction. If you try to turn right the rudder actually rolls the plane to the left. My solution was to reduce the size overall, cut the boom a bit shorter to make it stiffer and I also cut about uh, 20 centimetres off the wingspan. I also cut a bit off the tail as well. And you can see that it's a lot less flexy overall, which translates to more speed. And wiggling the rudder stick doesn't give so much flex in the boom. The rudder still doesn't work very well on these V-tail designs, but uh, it's much better than it was. It seems V-tails uh, require more bank and yank flying anyway. So now the designs come together quite well. It's fast and I can ballast it up to go even faster as long as the wind's strong enough. All up weighs about 500 grams with a 1300 milliamp hour battery in the nose. I can add more ballast if the wind's strong enough and it'll go even faster. For even more speed I'd need to reduce the drag now, but that's for future designs.